are you guys doing? Let me give it a few seconds for a few more people to jump on here and see who is uh, up in the world. Because apparently I can't fucking sleep. I'm still jet lagged from Australia. And uh, it's 4.09 a.m. here in Chicago. And this jet lag is kicking my ass. What's up, Tom from Israel? Seeing a few friends pop up here. Um, recognized in some names already, so I hope you guys are doing good. Whatever the part of the world you're in right now, I'm just driving around in my car on the empty streets <clears throat> south of Chicago, about 45 minutes south of downtown Chicago. <clears throat> What's up, Raven Moonchild? I'm actually in Homer Glen right now. You said you miss Homer Glen, and that's where I'm at at the moment. In my car, driving around because I'm staring at the ceiling at my house, laying in bed. I should have forced myself to go out last night, and I didn't. And I was regretting it now because I fell asleep early because of jet lag and I woke up at about 12.30 a.m. and have been up since. So from 12.30 till 4, 11 a.m. right now and I'm the only one on the fucking road. I can't lay in bed, stare at the ceiling and uh, <clears throat> let me see if I shut this light off. I don't know if that's too dark. Um just going stir crazy laying in bed staring at the ceiling at four in the morning and I had to get out of the house because we can't do that it's too quiet it's too lonely it's hard coming back down to reality after the high adrenaline of being on tour for a good part of this of the year and um being gone for most of 2024 so far and <clears throat> it's hard to adjust you're out there with that adrenaline rush and show after show and thousands of people tens of thousands of people every night and then all of a sudden you come back home to a lonely quiet home my daughter's away at college, my son's at his mother's house, and my house is too fucking quiet. And I tried waking up, playing guitar for a little bit, make a little bit of noise, and uh, overthinking things. So, pretty much sucks. So, I thought I'd jump on here and say hello to some of you. So wherever you're at in the world, I've seen some people from uh, New Zealand and Australia and Israel and different parts of the world um, that are probably daytime for most of you. <clears throat> so it's about a, nothing exciting to talk about, just showing you the lonely, empty streets, Homer Glen, Illinois. There's a gas station. Let's see, the gas station with one cop in the parking lot, and no other cars on the street. So that's my exciting night, Thursday night here. I do look forward to um, Saturday though. I'm going to um, Florida with my son. Okay, we got Saskatoon on here. What's up, Saskatoon? Um, I don't know if I, if you guys who have kids, if they've had their spring break yet or Easter break. My daughter already had her spring break, so she went to Cabo with my ex-wife and my son a couple weeks ago. But now my son's spring break and Easter break are all at the same time, so he just had his last day on Wednesday. That's why I'm taking him Saturday to Florida with me and the boys, me and my son and about four of his buddies. So I get to chaperone 
um, and hopefully get to tag along and hang out and do stuff with him. <laughs> so, otherwise it's going to be a damn lonely vacation while I just kind of sit on the beach. But no, they, they'll, they'll include me on a spike ball and stuff like that. We've I've played that the past few years with them because uh, we go every year now. Hello from New Zealand. What's up? Miss you guys already. New Zealand and Australia. You guys were awesome. We had such a great time. Um, the shows were amazing. It was great being out there with Pantera, Lamb of God, Hellstorm, Skindred, Asking Alexandria. Uh, the long list of great bands that were part of Not Fest. <clears throat> um, I got this is it. This is what I'm doing at 4.15 in the morning. Driving aimlessly. And, uh... It's too fucking boring. It's hard to adjust the goddamn time difference. I don't know what time it is in Brisbane, Australia right now. That's the last show that we did the other day. So... That's what my body is telling me, the, the time zone that I feel internally that I'm on is Brisbane. So I have to try to get acclimated and back into a normal schedule here, which has been quite the struggle. Uh, so you're saying it's 8 p.m. in Australia right now, see? See, that's what I think it is right now. So I'm like wide awake, feeling that I, I, it's 8 p.m., but it's really 4.16 a.m. And that's why I am fucked. So, anyways, um, nothing new in the camp. We, a lot of the same stuff I'll repeat is uh, we only have a handful of shows left this year. We're only doing... Um, a few festivals. I think we got about six or seven shows, probably, maybe, I think it's seven for the rest of the year, and that's it, all in the U.S., because we did Canada last year, we did Europe, we did a big U.S. tour of the A markets, and then we just did another U.S. tour earlier this year. There were some of the secondary markets, and a great run, of course, and then just finished this New Zealand Australia run, so it's been a busy year for us. So that's why we're gonna um, go light this year, and we're doing um, Rockville and Daytona in May. We are doing um, Sonic Temple in May in uh, Columbus, Ohio, and we are doing um, a rescheduled show in Des Moines, Iowa. And I believe that's all we have for May. And then the next shows after that won't be until late August, I believe. And then we'll have um, August into September. I, I don't know the order of the shows, but there's um, Louder Than Life in Louisville, Kentucky. There's um, Aftershock in Sacramento. And the other two, I don't know if I can name yet. So I don't think we sent announce those so I can't say it so it's probably only two more and that's it so anyways uh, hope you guys have a good one I'll jump on here if anything 